Our very own Miss World, the 22-year-old Rolene Strauss, who was crowned in London, England on December the 14th, arrived back home on Saturday to a hero's welcome at O.R. Tumbo International Airport in Johannesburg. Our SABC News producer, Desiree Chauke, spoke to her. Let's take a look. And there she is. She's walking through the terminal. There she is, walking through the door. Rolene Strauss, the most beautiful woman in the world. Rolene, you know, whenever I hear your name, I think of the Dolly Parton song, Jolene, although she was a men's nature, which you're not, but she was supposed to be this beautiful person. How about that fantastic welcome back home at the O.R. Tambo Airport? It was amazing. It completely exceeded my expectations. And I think, in a way, it showed me that, you know, it showed me the true colors and the true spirits of South Africans all coming together and supporting our own people. So I'm really privileged to be a proud South African. Well, congratulations on your new title. Has it all sunk in yet? Definitely not. Um, I think, you know, today made it, sink in, made it sink in a bit more, seeing all the South Africans and knowing that, that I'm re their representative. I mean, the whole world will look at my face and they will, they will link me to South Africa. So I'm, I'm really privileged to be here at the moment. Now, we all know that your childhood dream was to become a medical doctor, which you're now studying for, and you also wanted to become Miss World and that has come to be. What does that all mean to you? No, um, I remember when I was small, you know, my parents told me that even though I'm from a small town, it shouldn't keep me from dreaming big. And every reality starts with a dream. And I decided, you know, that I'm not going to dream small because I have to dream big. That's, that's how everything starts. And um, being able to study medicine and being able to reach for this dream is all because of South Africa and the opportunities that I received here. So I really want to thank South Africa and I feel that it's my duty and responsibility and also that is what I want to do, to create opportunities for other girls and, and other learners and other children to also be able to reach for their dreams and achieve it. Let's just take a step back to the competition and all the steps you had to go through. What was that all like? And especially that moment when you were in the top five and it was anybody's guess which way it could go. Take us through those feelings. It is so difficult to actually say what I felt at the moment. I remember telling myself, you know, this is only happening once in your life. So drink in every single thing and, and look at every single thing, take in everything. So um, leading up to the competition, I was really, really um, content with what was about to happen. I knew that the best thing would happen. And if I and if South Africa were to win, we should win and we're going to win. And I really think that, that on the stage that it was exactly what I felt like. Um, you know, I didn't feel like I have to prove anything, that I have to be anyone else than just myself. And I really am thankful for the support that I had from South Africa because in a way that made me so calm. So what has it been like since you won? What have you been busy with? Well, um, in London, uh, I've gone to a lot of interviews, a few te television interviews, but mostly preparing for my homecoming. Um, I knew that it would be big, not this big, but yeah. <laughs> I knew that it would be big. So I had a good sleep and good rest on the plane. Um, so the work starts now and the responsibility starts now. You're back home now, but we know you've relinquished your duties as Miss South Africa. What, is some of, what are some of your first duties as Miss World? I'm definitely going to be traveling a lot to different various countries. Um, I know my first, first trip would be to, to China, but I sat down with the Miss World organization. I told them that I really want to plant back into my own country as well. So I really know that they will support me in that, that I will come home um, more than I thought. So I'm looking forward to that. If there was one thing you would like young boys and girls out there to take out from your success, what would it be? I think that that you should remember where you come from. Um, I mean, I am who I am because of the opportunities that I've received, because my parents are the way they are, but also because they told me that I don't have to fit into a certain box to be someone. Um, you know, you create your own box, and since a little girl, um, you know, you always want to be like your friend, you always want to be like someone. I wanted to be like Joanne Strauss when I met her, and my mom used to tell me, you know, you create that box, and this is exactly what it is. I'm creating my own box, and, and in a way, trying to show the, the, the other girls and the other boys out there that you create your own box. You have your own passions and go for them. You've spoken in a previous interview about the significance of winning this title when South Africa is celebrating 20 years of democracy. What's that like for you? 
I think that the Miss World organization is looking for someone who would be a great representative, but also also their country. Um, you know, it's not me who won, it's South Africa who won. I stood there as Miss South Africa, not as Raleen Strauss, and that played a, a huge deal in me winning. Um, you know, we're an example for the rest of the world, showing them that unity and forgiveness and, and a bright future lies ahead of us. And I think that was a, a, a great reason why I won and that was uh, why I felt so calm because I knew that not only did I have a story to tell but my country has a story to tell. Even as we're doing this interview we have been told that part of your program is to rush back home and be with your parents. What do they do for you that helps you ground yourself at this time where everything is so airy-fairy? I mean, in my life at the moment, there's nothing constant. And my family, and especially my parents, are the constant. They are the people that, that definitely keeps me grounded. Uh, they are my biggest supporters, but also my biggest critics at the right time. So I, I thank them for being here. And I'm really who I am today because of them and what they've done for me. Um, I, I really believe that, that I was able to go after my dreams because they were the nets catching me, whatever happens. So I really f thank them for that. And I've learned to be who I am because of them. And so finally, what would you like to say to your supporters? South Africa, I uh, wish you all a happy and Merry Christmas and remember the message of love and freedom, which is our message. And this crown is for you. I remember they asked me one time, they asked me in an interview what my Christmas wish would be. And mine was to, to make South Africans feel like I represented them well. So I really hope that, that I gave you, I got my Christmas wish.